Hello students, how are you all? Welcome to Affairs Cloud, Learn to Lead. My name is Vikas Rana. So students, we have an app by the name Careers Cloud, which you can go and download through the Play Store. This application is a one-stop solution for all the students who are preparing for government exams. This application is valid just for the Android users. Once you have downloaded the application, you can go and log in through your Gmail ID. And once you have logged in, you will be moved on to this page where you can see the various courses that are offered by us. To avail this course, you can use a code that is CRACK10 to get an additional 10% discount on the purchase you make. If we talk about the course, why this course is so important, how you will be benefiting through this course. If you see, we provide current affairs on the daily basis. On weekly basis as well as monthly basis on daily basis we will be providing you with pdfs of the content of that particular day apart from this you will be getting a quiz on your application that will be of 20 questions quiz on daily basis that will help you in boosting your preparation apart from that on weekly you will be getting a 50 questions quiz for your preparation as well as if you see you will also get a pdf that will contain all the important compiled news current affairs of that particular week and similarly for monthly you will be getting a top 100 questions pdf of that whole month that is very important pdf and will be covering the most important news of that particular month all right apart from this we also cover banking awareness all the banking aspirants those who are preparing for bank exams will absolutely love our course because we cover almost 99.99 percent of the syllabus of your bank exams here you will see we will also provide with quizzes as well as the pdfs o apart from this if you see the topic wise for example there are multiple questions that are related to arbitrary important days who won which event who was awarded with which award so all these topics that are related to your gs also or gk such as apps and web portals these are the current affairs that are important days your books and authors the new applications that were launched new government schemes that were launched by the government or your international affairs or your national affairs all these topics there are 20 such topics of which we are providing the pdf as well as we teach on youtube where you can go and check our channel and you will be surprised that the content that we are providing is absolutely amazing. All right. So this will be helping you to boost your preparation in the long term. This YouTube channel, you can go and subscribe to our channel. That is your affairs cloud that will help you for your revision purpose. Also, apart from this, we cover the state current affairs. Also here you can see the current affairs and all these content that we provide you that are bilingual that means we provide you in english as well as both in hindi also all right so all the students who are from the hindi language will also be benefited through our course also friends you can purchase our course for two years all right also for one year if the students have exam or they are planning for the long term and they want to study for two years and they are expecting to give exam after one year then they can opt for two years as well as if the student is planning to give exam next year then they can go for the one year course also so these are the two types of courses that are available by us in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas 10 you will be getting an additional extra 10 percent discount by using this code vikas 10 also, if you have any problem regarding the course purchase, any problem regarding to our application, you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677-333862. And if you want to mail us, you can also mail us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com. And I assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue. So friends, in today's video, we will be discussing important current affairs of second week of May. The session will be very important and helpful to you. So do pay attention. And this will be a very helpful and revision video for all of you. And I'll suggest you if you are not making notes on the daily videos and topic wise videos, then this is the chance for you to make notes because this is a compiled video of the whole week. Let's start. Which company designed the high speed regional train? Tell me. Which company has recently designed the high speed regional train? So I repeat, which company designed the high speed regional train? Remember, India received the first 
सेमी हाई स्पीड रीजनल ट्रेन फॉर डेली मेरिट रीजनल रैपिड ट्रांसिट सिस्टम दैट इज आर आर टी एस सिस्टम दिस इज बिटवीन डेली टू मेरिट एंड द कंपनी दैट इज डिजाइन द हाई स्पीड रीजनल ट्रेन इज योर ऑल स्टॉम ई एल एस टी ओ एम ऑल राइट रिमेंबर ऑल स्टॉम डिजाइन इट नेक्स्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू मकॉम इंडिया सोलर प्रोजेक्ट ट्रैकर डे स्टेट बिकेम द फर्स्ट स्टेट टू डेवलप टेन गीगा solar power generation as of may 2022 so remember it is your which state it is your rajasthan that has secured the top position or you can say became the first state to develop a 10 gigawatt of solar power generation in the may 2022 next so the correct option here becomes rajasthan then if we talk about gujarat first steel slag rod global center for traditional medicines all will be set up if gift ifs it is also in gujarat only next the securities and exchange board of india that is sebi formed an advisory committee for the environmental social and governance related matters this committee will be chaired by whom i repeat sebi formed an advisory committee for environmental social and governance related matters this committee will be chaired by whom navneet munot navneet munoth will chair this particular committee that was formed by sebi that is an advisory committee all right and who is navneet munoth he is the chief executive officer of hdfc mutual fund next the fifth romanian roland book prize for the 2022 was awarded to the bengali translation of the french novel that is mursalt all right now the question is this book was translated by whom this book we are talking about that is french novel morsault all right and this book was translated by tiranjanan chakravarti that is tiranjanan chakravarti translated this book and this is the remember french novel this french novel was translated to which bengali language all right this novel was translated from french to bengali language by tirunanjanan chakravarti next who recently became the president of costa rica for four terms who has been became the president of costa rica for four terms he is rodrigues shaves rodrigues shaves became the president of costa rica for four years then tell me shaili app This application was launched by which state government? It was Kerala government that launched this Shelly application, and it is for diagnosing, controlling lifestyle disease. All right. Then, next, if I ask you, E Adigam, what is E Adigam? E Adigam was launched by Haryana, and it is to distribute tablets to the school-going three lakh students. To three lakh students coming back. what is the mascot of the fourth edition of khelo india youth games so where will be the khelo india youth games held the fourth edition of this khelo india youth games will be held in haryana all right it will be held in haryana and the mascot for the khelo fourth edition of khelo india youth games is dhakad all right this is the mascot and if we are talking about khelo india university games Hello India University Games this is the mascot Vira is the mascot for Hello India University Games this is the second edition of which Next Pradhan Mantri Jeevan Jyoti Bima Yojana was launched under which ministry So Pradhan Mantri Jeevan Jyoti Bima Yojana was launched under Ministry of Finance this is one year life insurance scheme renewable from year to year offering coverage for death due to any reason an individual that is between age 50 18 to 50 years of age having a saving bank or a post office account are entitled to enroll under this particular scheme next is which organization recently launched a green health alliance in collaboration with the office of the principal scientific advisor catalyst group and rockefeller foundation it was your united states of uh, united states agency that is called usaid that is united states agency for international development the catalyst group as well as that is a catalyst group that is a social enterprises platform has announced the establishment of green health alliance in new delhi in collaboration with the principal scientific advisor to the government of india along with united states agency for international development and the rockefeller foundation this alliance will work on identifying and scaling up solutions to help reduce the 
health systems carbon footprint and so to mitigate the negative health effects of the climate change so the correct option here becomes option 2 next the world's longest glass bottom bridge is located in which country world's longest glass bottom bridge is located in vietnam what is the name of this bridge can you tell me this bridge is named as white dragon or this is also known as backlong backlong pedestrian bridge next name the personality who recently won the pulitzer prize 2022 award in journalism under the feature global photography category so who has won the journal uh, pulitzer prize recently he was adnan adibi sanan ishad mato amit dev danish siddiqui all of them has won the pulitzer prize in journalism under feature photography category if you remember danish siddiqui he was the journalist who was killed in afghanistan all right he was killed in afghanistan so moving on which aerospace company from bangalore was recently tested india's first high performance green propulsion system for satellites so who has tested which aerospace aerospace company has tested this india's first high performance green propulsion system for satellites it was your bellatrix aerospace it is a bangalore based startup that is an aerospace company that has tested india's first high performance green propulsion system for satellites all right this cuts hydrazine hydrazine is a toxic substance so in order to reduce this use of hydrogen and we want to save the green propellant in a safe manner that will be eco friendly which will also is not hydrazine all right hydrazine is not eco friendly it is toxic so in order to avoid this hydrazine we wanted a new fuel that is this green propulsion system this new green propellant which reduce toxicity compared to hydrazine and it is also safer to store also next in which country sawa lake is located where is this sawa lake located it is located in iran sawa lake is located in iran apart from this if i ask you breakfast scheme breakfast scheme was launched by which state government for the government children it was launched by tamil nadu breakfast scheme theek hai apart from this if i ask you first center of excellence for khadi where is this setup it was set up in new delhi and first or you can say a museum specifically for the former prime ministers of india is also in where this museum is in new delhi next india's first organic waste powered electric vehicle charging station was inaugurated in mumbai maharashtra this electric vehicle charging station will be powered by biogas that is your organic waste all right also this electric vehicle charging station will be powering the street lights next dash became the first asian country to join the north atlantic that is your nato cooperative cyber defense exercise center of excellence so this nato's defense center of excellence that is a exercise that is for cyber security was joined by and it became the first asian country to do so is south korea the reason being south korea was constantly getting the cyber attacks from china as well as north korea so in order to prevent this no, south korea became the first asian country to join nato's defense exercise on cyber security which country recently elected as the chair of the association of asian election authorities for 2022 to 2024 highly important question pay attention which is the country it is your india that has been elected as the chair of the association of asian election authorities double a e a for the time period 2022 to 2024 highly important all right and india was represented by the election commission of india commission on elections manila philippines was the chair of double a e a and now india has been elected for 2022 to 2024 when was this association of asian election authorities formed it was formed in 1990 eight and headquarter is in manila philippines next who recently won the presidential election of philippines 2022 so remember fernandez marcos junior has been has become the new president of philippines apart from this if i ask you largely lakshmi scheme 
2.0 this was launched by which state it was launched by madhya pradesh then asani cyclone asani cyclone has hit andhra pradesh odisha as well as west bengal next national technology day 2020 observed across india on dash to commemorate the nuclear test of operation shakti that was a nuclear test that was conducted by india in pokhran in 1990 Eight. So remember, on eleventh of May, we observe National Technology Day. This day marks the Operation Shakti, that is, was the nuclear test that was conducted by India in the Pokhran Range in Rajasthan. All right. So the correct option here is option five, that is, eleventh of May, and that was your Operation Shakti. You should remember this also. That what was the name of that operation? It was Operation Shakti. then remember a crossing in ayodhya will be named after lata mangeshkar ji she was a singer on her behalf of award is presented that is the first edition of lata dinanath mangeshkar award was presented to whom it was presented to narendra modi ji next khongjom day this day was celebrated by dash date on 23rd of april 2022 khongjom day was observed by manipur all right this is to commemorate the sacrifice of the manipuri warriors against the british in the battle of khongjom during 1891 apart from this also one more thing you need to remember about haryana a scheme was launched for fodder cultivation it was specifically targeting the fodder cultivation in order to increase the cultivation in the ford of fodder this scheme was launched that is chara बिजाई योजना वॉज लॉन्च बाय हरियाणा गवर्नमेंट टू इंक्रीज द फॉर्डर कल्टिवेशन नेक्स्ट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज द वर्ल्ड लार्जेस्ट वेटलैंड वर्ल्ड लार्जेस्ट वेटलैंड इज योर पंटनाल इट इज इन साउथ अमेरिका डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन सिंपल वन नेक्स्ट नाइनटीन एशियन गेम शेड्यूल टू बी हेल्ड इन हॉन्गजू चाइना इन सेप्टेम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू वॉज रिसेंटली पोस्टपोन टू डैश बिकॉज ऑफ कोविड नाइनटीन situation so these games has been now postponed to 2023 i repeat asian games the 19th edition of asian games that were held in hongzhou china they were postponed to september 2022 and now they have been postponed till the year 2023 because of covid 19 also remember the oca has also announced that that is your olympic council of asia has also announced that the third asian third edition of the asian youth games that were to be held in the china has also been cancelled now moving on which country recently replaced russia in the un human rights council via voting so it was your czech republic that has replaced russia in the united nation human right council voting and russia has withdrawn itself from wto that is your world tourism organization repco shubhishkam i repeat the repco subiksham a special deposit scheme was launched for whom this repco subiksham was a deposit scheme that was launched for specifically for senior citizens and super senior citizens ministry of home affairs have launched repco subiksham a new repatriate welfare scheme of repco bank and app for the repco microfinance limited and it will be targeting senior citizens as well as super senior citizens all right and it is a deposit scheme for them this is a fixed deposit for senior citizens above the age of 60 and super citizens at the age of above 80 years of age the period scheme is for 15 month with an interest of 7.15% per annum and for senior citizens it will be 7.2% per annum for super senior citizens all right i repeat this 7.15 is for senior citizens and 7.25 is for super senior citizens next next is in which state rakhi gadi village is located so where is this rakhi gadi village located remember this rakhi gadi village is located in haryana all right rakhi gadi is a village and archaeological site belonging to the indus valley civilization next maveli express was adjudged as the best maintained train in the dash railway as the 30, 63rd railway week celebration in may 2020 Two. So remember, Maveli Express. Maveli Express was declared as the best maintained railway train in the Southern Railway. In the Southern 
रेलवे एज द सिक्सटी ड्यूरिंग द सिक्सटी थर्ड वीक सेलिब्रेशन ऑफ रेलवे आई रिपीट ड्यूरिंग द सिक्सटी थर्ड रेलवे वीक सेलिब्रेशन इन मे मवेली एक्सप्रेस दैट इज द बेस्ट मेंटेन ट्रेन ऑफ साउदर्न रेलवे वॉज डिक्लेयर एज द बेस्ट मेंटेन ट्रेन ऑफ साउदर्न रेलवे दैट इज मवेली एक्सप्रेस ऑफ साउदर्न रेलवे नेक्स्ट नेम द मिनिस्ट्री दैट हैज साइंड अ नॉन फाइनेंशियल एम ओ यू विद एमेजॉन टू ऑन बोर्ड द सेल्फ हेल्प गुड्स प्रोडक्ट ऑन एमेजॉन सहेली प्लेटफॉर्म विच इज दिस मिनिस्ट्री इट इज मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ रूरल डेवलपमेंट दैट हैज रिसेंटली साइन अ नॉन फाइनेंशियल एम ओ यू विद द एमेजॉन टू ऑन बोर्ड द सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप्स प्रोडक्ट ऑन एमेजॉन सहेली प्लेटफॉर्म ऑल राइट इट विल गिव बूस्ट टू द सहेली प्लेटफॉर्म एज वेल एज द स्मॉल सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप्स देर प्रोडक्ट्स विल बी सोल्ड ऑन Amazon. Next, which organization recently signed an MOU with the Indian National Center for Ocean Informatics Services to provide training and support to the School of Naval Oceanology and Meteorology? I repeat, in order to provide training and support to the School of Naval Oceanology and Meteorology, organization that has signed MOU with Indian National Center for Ocean Informatics Services is Indian Navy. All right, Indian Navy has signed it. Next, which organization released the first global report on infection prevention and control? This report with key finding that seventy percent of those infections can be prevented with good hand hygiene. I repeat, recently first global report on infection prevention and control was released. This report stated that seventy percent of the all the infections can be prevented with just good hand hygiene. And this report was released by whom? It was released by World Health. organization all right that around 70% of the infections can be avoided just by good hand hygiene next government of india recently contributed 800000 us dollar to expand the use of which language at the united nation so government of india has spent around 180800000 us dollar in order to increase or in order to promote or expand the use of hindi at the united nations so the correct option is hindi next as per the morgan stanley india's gdp growth was downgraded to dash percent so according to morgan stanley india's gdp growth already it was 9.7.9 percent for the fiscal year 23 that is from 2022 to 2023 but now this 7.9 has been slashed down to 7.6 percent by morgan stanley next who was recently appointed as the new prime minister of sri lanka after the resignation of mahinda rajapaksha so who has been appointed as the new prime minister of sri lanka he is ranil vikram singe ranil vikram singe has been appointed as the new prime minister of sri lanka next also remember Previously Ranil Vikram Singe has served as the prime minister of Sri Lanka for 5 times since 1993 Name the personality who was recently appointed as the chief executive officer and managing director of Air India Remember Campbell Wilson Campbell Wilson has been appointed as the new chief executive officer and managing director of Air India highly important The Indian Air Force recently successfully tested the BrahMos supersonic cruise missile from which aircraft? It was Sukhoi 30 Mark 1 aircraft from which the Indian Air Force has successfully tested the supersonic cruise missile. Next, that is BrahMos. Deen Dayal Antyodhya Yojana National Rural Livelihood Mission was launched by which ministry? This Deen Dayal Antyodhya Yojana National Rural Livelihood Mission was launched by Ministry of Rural Development Ministry of Rural Development the aim is creating efficient and effective institutional platforms for the rural poor enabling them to increase household incomes through sustainable livelihood enhancements and improved access to financial services also remember in 2015 November the program was renamed to Deen Dayal Antyodhya Yojana Rural National Rural Livelihood Mission next in which state pangolokha wildlife sanctuary is located pangolokha wildlife sanctuary is located in sikkim tista river is also located in sikkim remember this all right also if i ask you tell me first state to restore the old pension scheme 
इट वॉज योर छत्तीसगढ़ ऑल राइट इट बिकेम द फर्स्ट स्टेट टू रिस्टोर द ओल्ड पेंशन स्कीम देन अ एनर्जी प्लान एक्शन वॉज रिलीज बाय यूनाइटेड नेशंस टूवर्ड्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर हु बिकेम द वीमेन और रिमेंबर कामी रीता कामी रीता बिकेम द और यू कैन से कामी रीता स्केल्ड माउंट एवरेस्ट फॉर द रिकॉर्ड ट्वेंटी सिक्स टाइम ऑल राइट फॉर द ट्वेंटी सिक्स टाइम हु क्लाइम द माउंट एवरेस्ट शी वॉज कामी रीटा नेक्स्ट नेम द इंडिया फर्स्ट मेड इन इलेक्ट्रिक बस दैट वॉज लॉन्च बाई ई के ए इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल मैन्युफैक्चर कंपनी इन मे ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू वॉट इज इट इट इज ई के ए ई नाइन दिस इज द नेम ऑफ द फर्स्ट मेड इन इंडिया इलेक्ट्रिक बस दैट वॉज लॉन्च बाई ई का इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल मैन्युफैक्चर कंपनी इन मे ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू All right. This is purely made in India. All right, purely made in India. Next, Intersolar Europe 2022 was held in which country or in which city? So this Intersolar Europe 2022. First of all, remember Bhagwant Khuba, the Minister of States of Ministry of New and Renewable Energy, recently addressed the Intersolar Europe 2022 on India's solar energy market. All right, the theme on which he addressed this Intersolar Europe was. India Solar Energy Market. The event was organized by Indo-German Energy Forum, and where was this held? This was held in Munich, Germany. Inter Solar Europe 2022. It is the world's leading exhibition for the solar industry that took place from 11 to 13th of May 2022. Next, in which country the world's longest suspension footbridge named Sky Bridge 721 was opened? This success. Uh, this a uh, suspension footbridge that is sky bridge 721 was opened in Czech republic then if i ask you who has been sworn in as the president of costa rica costa rica he is rodriguez chaves has been appointed as the president of costa rica then president of south korea yoon suk yeol has been appointed as the president of south korea then which big company became the most valuable company it is saudi aramco saudi aramco became the world's most valuable company earlier it was apple but now it is saudi aramco next which organization or ministry recently launched the national data and analytics platform to improve access and use of published indian government data it is your which ministry tell me or which organization it is your niti aayog that has recently launched the national data and analytics platform to improve access and use of published indian government data so it was launched by niti aayog next what is the theme of the world migratory bird day 2022 that was observed across the globe on 14th of march so the theme that you need to remember is impact of light pollution on migratory birds this is the theme of the world migratory bird day that is observed on 14th of may 2022 all right one more thing add on here that this world migratory bird day will also world by world migratory bird day will also be observed on 8th of october 2022 moving on the first international day of plant health 2022 was observed across the globe by united nations on dash it was observed on 12th of may all right 12th of may was observed as the international or you can say the first international day of plant health and uh this was the remember first edition question can be asked when was the first time your international day of plant health observed by un it was observed on 12th of may 2022 option third next which country will host the 2022 fifa under 17 women's world cup which country will be hosting it it is your india that will host the 2022 fifa under 17 women's world cup all right it is your india highly important question apart from this if i ask you just tell me which country is the highest recipient of the foreign remittances it is your india this report was given by world bank headquarter of world bank is in washington dc all right then one more question tell me which country which company became the first indian company to cross a 100 billion annual revenue 100 billion dollar annual revenue which is the first company to cross this target it is reliance industries limited then e broking e broking 
दिस ई ब्रोकिंग वॉज लॉन्च बाय इंडियन बैंक इंडियन बैंक दिस डिजिटल ब्रोकिंग सोल्यूशन दैट इज ई ब्रोकिंग वॉज लॉन्च बाय इंडियन बैंक Apart from this, if I ask you who has been appointed as the managing director of TVS Motor Company, he is Sudarshan Venu ji. Then tell me who has been appointed as the chairman and managing director, chairman and managing director of HP CL. He is Pushp Kumar Joshi ji. Then part-time chairman, part-time chairman of City Union Bank, he is M Narayan. Then tell me who has taken as the chair charge as वाइस चेयर ऑफ मेरीटाइम एंटी करप्शन नेटवर्क मेरीटाइम एंटी करप्शन नेटवर्क वाइस चेयरपर्सन हैज बिन अपॉइंटेड एज राजेश उन्नी जी देन नेक्स्ट टेल मी हु हैज बिन अपॉइंटेड एज द न्यू एम डी एन सी ईओ वीजस ऑफ एयर इंडिया ही वॉज कैम्बल विल्सन देन नेक्स्ट टेल मी नेक्स्ट हु हैज बिन अपॉइंटेड एज द नेक्स्ट चीफ इलेक्शन कमिश्नर ही इज राजीव कुमार हैज बिन अपॉइंटेड एज द नेक्स्ट chief election commissioner then who, tell me who has been appointed as the first indian brand ambassador for louis vuitton first indian brand ambassador for louis vuitton is dipika padukone who has been then tell me appointed as the chairperson of cbse nidhi chibber has been appointed as the new chairperson of cbse apart from this which was the first asian country to, to join nato it was south korea then tell me asian games they were that was supposed to be held in september 2022 now has been postponed till 2023 who won the miami grand prix miami grand prix was won by max verstappen all right similarly tell me what is the logo of khelo india youth games it was dhakad it was dhakad then there was a list release for the highest paid athletes list it was released by forbes who has topped this lionel messi he is a footballer he has topped the forbes highest paid athletes list for the year 2022 then on 7th of may world athletics day is observed on 7th only bro that is your border road organization 62nd raising day is observed 8th of may we observe mothers day highly important then on 8th of may only world thesemia day is observed on 8th of may only we observe world red cross day then on 10th that is your 10th of may we observe international day of agrenia on 10th only we observe world lupus day then on 11th remember we observe national technology day on 12th we observe international nurses day on 14th we observe world migratory bird day and on 15th we observe international day of family so these are also some of the days that you can remember so friends that's the end of our session i hope you have gained some interesting information today and this information will be very helpful for you in the upcoming exams so do like the video subscribe and also share the link of this video with your friends and if you want us to continue with such sessions all you have to do is comment below the value of your comment is very much thank you In the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support@theratofaffairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue